we're going to learn how to write an expository essay. According to Purdue OWL, the expository essay is a genre of essay that requires the student to investigate an idea, evaluate evidence, expound on the idea, and set forth an argument concerning the idea in a clear and concise manner. This can be accomplished through comparison and contrast, definitions, examples, and the analysis of cause and effect. Now, when you write an expository essay, the first thing you will need to do is write your introduction. In the introduction, you will need a hook, background information, and a thesis. Let's learn how to write an introduction paragraph. Today, we are going to talk about writing an introduction and what's included. The introduction is the first thing that your reader is going to see, so you need to make sure that it's great. There are three main parts of an introduction, the hook, the background information, and the thesis statement. Let's take a closer look at each one. The first line or two of your introduction is called the hook. The purpose is to draw the reader in, make them interested, make them want to read. For a hook, you want to use quotations or questions or even facts or statistics. You don't want to say, this essay will be about. The next part of your introduction is the background information. This gives your reader a little bit of information about your topic without telling them everything. You want to give them the main points and tell them why the topic is important. Give them an outline. You don't want to tell them everything and you don't want to say, I'm going to talk about. The final part of your introduction is your thesis statement. This tells your reader your main topics or your position depending on the type of paper. The thesis is the backbone of your essay, so you want to make it strong. When writing your thesis statement, you want to make sure that you're clear and specific. You want to include the thesis at the end of your paragraph and you want to use your own original ideas. You don't want to bury the thesis in the middle of your introduction paragraph, nor do you want to say, here's the main points of my essay. So there you have it, the proper way to write an introduction. Include a hook, background information, and a thesis statement. Now you're ready to write your body paragraphs. Created using Powtoon. Okay, so after we write our introduction, we will then need to write our three body paragraphs. In your body paragraph, you will have a topic sentence, key ideas or reasons supporting that topic sentence. You will have details such as facts, statistics, quotes, and you will be explaining those details. You will also have a concluding sentence where you can either restate your topic sentence or have your final thoughts on that topic sentence. Let's watch this brief video on how to write a body paragraph. Expository essay body paragraphs. How to write an effective body paragraph for an expository essay. Remember, every body paragraph has a topic sentence, key ideas, supporting details, and a conclusion sentence. The topic sentence should explain which theme the paragraph is about. For example, the sentence, one major theme in the novel speak is friendship, would be a quality topic sentence. Your key idea sentences should tell the reader what marking period and a summary of the example. For example, the sentence, the first reason friendship is important in marking period four is because Ivy begins to help Melinda feel confident again, is both explaining what marking period and a summary of the example I will use in my detail. Supporting detail one should be a quote from the story. Use your theme chart and the correct MLA citation. When she goes to the mall over spring break, Melinda runs into Ivy who tells her, you're better than you think you are regarding her art project. Think about the introduction to the quote, quotation marks in a citation, and how to end the quote. Supporting detail two 
should explain how the quote connects to the theme and why it is important. For example, the sentence, this illustrates that Ivy cares about supporting Melinda and wants to encourage her to do better in the future. This is important to the theme of friendship because Melinda has very few friends like Ivy. You will see I've explained the connection to the theme and why it's important. Congratulations, you finished body paragraph number one. Now repeat this same process for number two and three. Okay, so after we do our body paragraphs, we will then need to have a conclusion. This is a video that shows you how to write a conclusion. Usually about two to three sentences, or you can aim for five. You will be reviewing your supporting ideas and sharing your final thoughts or information on the topic. This is where you can also restate your thesis, of course, in different words. Let's watch this video. <laughs> Using Powtoon. All right, everyone. So that's how you write an expository essay. Thank you.